Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick little haul from Jackson's Art Supply, so I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. Um, it all came packaged this way. Um, I'll show you the other stuff as I open it, but it came in a big padded envelope and further padded, you know, for each item. So why don't I just cut it open? Since there's only just one paintbrush in here and I would definitely recommend Jackson's Art Supplies or at least you know if you're shopping around that should be one of the places you check out because they do have great prices for things so I don't know how I feel about this paintbrush um, I don't know if I can it's got some hair sticking out yeah there you guys can see that it's got some hair sticking out so it's a zero Escoda um, bristle brush which I wanted to have for um, like oil painting so I mean it is nice and small and seems like a pretty firm brush so I guess I'll give it a go and see how see how it goes then there was so there were just a lot of like individually packaged things inside this big you know packed envelope so I got this it was less than a dollar oh, this is really nice it's super lightweight I wanted it for travel I'm gonna go on a little vacation and I wanted to have something to come along just in case I wanted a little bit more space to mix stuff but I didn't want something heavy or bulky so this is nice and small has lots of little compartments and it doesn't weigh like almost anything so it's it's actually exactly what I was looking for kind of the smallest option and it's their own brand it's the Jack Jackson art supplies brand so if you're looking for it just kind of type in JAS um, yeah. I know I also got this. It looks like it's a little bit, but I don't know if that's going to be an issue, but probably not. It's nice and flat, which is what I liked about it. It has space for, I believe, 12 full pans. But it doesn't really... Yeah, I don't know. Um, so this was, like, really cheap, too, so... I would just take this insert out and basically uh, put in the the half pans or the full pans using, you know, some magnetic tape. You know, tape magnetic tape to their bottom and then they will stay put inside this thing and then you have the mixing space up top. So, and it's pretty nice and lightweight and it's very thin. And actually, you know, once you take the insert out, it would fit a ton of a ton of half pans like a lot um, and there was this thing I don't even know I don't even remember or have any clue what this is maybe it's more paint brushes oh it's oh it's the pencil I wanted just just I didn't want to buy like a whole bunch of these in a whole set. They usually come in a set if you buy them in the US. A uh, Fabric Castell Graphite Aquarelle. It's water soluble um, basic pencil. This is HB HB. I just wanted to try one and they had a really good price for it. So um, I'll see how I like it. I got this. very noisy oh my gosh I thought I was making the opening process on camera easier by you know first taking it out of the package but I don't know Maybe I should have un unpackaged the whole thing first so I got a bunch of these little cute samples they're so cute and um, it's a nice way to try that paper and they're also just about 
ATC card, like artist trading card size already, like a trading card basic size, I think two and a half by three and a half. And I do like to make those. So they're already pre-cut of these really nice paper samples into a really good size for me. Um, and it says on the cover what you would use it for, like with which mediums and uh, things like that. So like this is 100% cotton paper. And um, so I got these. Then I got Holbein gouache pamphlet since I'm planning on getting some of those at some point. So I just wanted to have the their full range. So that's that. Jackson's Two Rivers. Oh, this is, so this is Jackson's paper sampler. Wow, that is some super thick paper. Oh my God, this one is like watercolor board. So I don't wanna get my fingers on it too much, but that's nice. I don't know what size they are. They look like they're about four by four maybe. So they're nice for, you know, tiny little paintings. I love to do little paintings. Then, you know, it's much more affordable for people to buy little miniature original art than, you know, the larger paintings. So the super thick one is, I believe, was the 300 pound. And um, not just, I think, means that it's uh, cold pressed. Oh, more of these little things. I wanted to try the black paper for all the metallic watercolors and pencils. This is Yupo heavy paper. Oh, so this is kind of like the plastic. And you can kind of paint on it and then you can wipe it off. And, uh... Oh, and this one comes with a bunch of different colors, actually. As you can see, it comes with a few different color options. So, it's easier to see like that. So, as you can see, there are different colors in there. And then I wanted to try, they have these gorgeous watercolor notebooks. Uh, but those are kind of expensive to ship. So I didn't, I only paid like a dollar for shipping, by the way. It was like a dollar... 30 or something for dollar 70 I don't remember for shipping this entire order so if you stay at a pretty light weight they don't charge much for shipping so wow these are actually really nice and big these are so these are watercolor cards so they're folded I don't know about them in terms of cards because they're actually <laughs> super flimsy um, but this would be, but it's 210 GSM, which was one of the reasons I wanted to buy it was because a lot of their watercolor books are with this um, type of paper. So I wanted to see if it would be thick enough for a good um, watercolor journal. But actually for a card, you can glue down a solid piece of paper where you would write your message over here. So that will help keep it stable. And then it would be a lot you know, sort of more firm as a card that way. And so you get five folded cards and then you get watercolor paper envelopes that come with them. So you can paint the card and the envelope. So if let's say you just wanted to do like a little gift sort of painting, uh, then making a handmade card might be the way to go. And I got this in there, in the package. This is actually turning to be a longer haul than I anticipated. Oh, oops, okay. So more paper samples actually. Okay, all of this is paper samples. Jackson's has this thing where you can buy different samples of different stuff and mostly paper um, for like free. Some are free. Some are like 50 cents, 25 cents, a dollar, stuff like that. So, and I love trying it. And because I love to do small paintings, uh, a little, a tiny little sample is usually enough for me for an entire painting. So 
it actually works out perfectly. Uh, so this is Eco Handmade Paper by Jackson's and it has super thick watercolor paper in there again. It kind of tells you, wow, these are super, super thick. You can kind of see, like this is just one of them. It's, it's again like a whole board. And then this looks like it's about four by six size, so it's actually a really nice size. If you guys want me to review any of these papers in more depth, let me know. And then, so this is a bunch more Stonehenge uh, watercolor paper. I got some Yupo watercolor paper. Uh, it comes with white, white and translucent maybe, or I'm not, oh, it comes with translucent, medium and heavy and it's slightly bigger size. Saunders Waterford, New Botanical Ultra Smooth. I don't even know what <laughs> I like call these papers. More Saunders Waterford beige paper and then a bunch of this is a bunch of watercolor paper like it's really like you guys can see, if you cut this out, it actually makes for a really nice painting size of about four by six or whatever. Um, and then this is non-sanded pastel paper, which I have pastels that I don't that I use for doll making, but I don't really use for painting. So I wanted to get some paper and maybe try doing pastel art. I do have pastel pencils though, and those I find to be pretty nice to use and easier. So this one comes with, I had no idea what, oh, okay, they're all labeled. So there's all different colors and textures and all sorts of stuff, five and six. Oh, this is one of them. This one in the back is actually one of them too. Um, and I guess it tells you all the and then they have it in pencil, which one each is each one. So it's definitely a sampler pack because there's Hanemule, Claire Fontaine, Fabriano, and Canson. So there's uh, six different ones with all different brands. So it's kind of cool. And I think it was like a couple dollars. And these sheets are huge. These are like very large sheets. I wasn't sure how big they were going to be. So, but they're definitely bigger than I expected. So let me see. Oh, what else? And this was also in there. I got some more watercolors. And this is, it says Winsor & Newton, but it's just, they recycled the box. So it's, that's, I did not get more Winsor & Newton because I don't have space for, for them in my Winsor & Newton palette. I like that they recycle the boxes. It, it feels, you know, not wasteful. I ended up getting Schmincke ones. And I got colors I don't have. Uh, indigo, because in Schmincke, it's, they don't add black to make their indigo, which I really like. So I wanted to try that. Potter's Pink, because I don't have that in any brand, so I wanted to try that. Naples Yellow, I don't have that in any brand either. And Transparent Orange, which I don't have in any brand. And Schmincke's known to have a really nice transparent orange. Um, and here's my Schmincke palette. I put them all into this little Prima palette and I stuck them all, I managed to fit them all in here. <laughs> and I used the, the tape, the magnetic tape, to put onto the back so now they don't move. So now I can kind of like do that and they all stay put. And I left spaces for all of these colors to go in there. So, um, yeah, so there's four spaces left and I'm gonna add the oh you know what happened I forgot I got the orange I think so the indigo is supposed to go here the Naples yellow is supposed to go here 
and the potter's pink here. So I don't know what I was thinking. Well, anyways, I'm going to have to rearrange the whole thing because I totally... I forgot about the orange, I think, is what happened. Very strange. I don't know what colors I thought I got. Oh, you know what? I thought I got a purple, and the purple was going to go here. <laughs> but I guess I went with the orange instead of the purple. Um, I didn't like any of their purples, and purples are actually very easy to mix. Um, I have a magenta sort of color, so if I add some phthalo blue to the magenta, it will make a really nice purple. So I decided to do that, whereas the orange is really easy to mix too. But Schmincke is known for their gorgeous transparent orange, so I thought, you know what, why not? So I'm going to fill those up, rearrange them, and if you guys want to see the colors or get a review of anything, let me know. And I would be more than happy to do that. So thank you for watching, and if you like this video and you want to see more, please hit like. And I will be back later. Thanks, bye!